Hello guys, this is Vaish. So we are doing the science episode of uh, December 30, Friday. And uh, here again, uh, I want to tell you that you should watch it in order because uh, science itself is the fourth episode and totally this is the 26th episode. So every uh, day it's a different subject taken by uh, different teachers and they'll be covering it regularly. Okay, the more you participate, the more you interact in live chat and give your answers and comment section, live like section, everything. If your interaction is there, then we'll do more and more things and more and more teachers also will be involved. Okay, see to that every subject, okay, every subject you should learn because prelims cannot be cleared by just specializing in uh, one particular subject okay and these are all free uh, playlist if you want to see you just have to hit the subscribe button because all them all of them are free and some of them are enabled to be watched only by the subscribers okay so subscription is important okay it's free only but you have to hit the subscribe button to unlock certain videos so please see to that it is there and you are whatsapping us to get the foundation video which is the first playlist you should watch now the first science and tech uh, question for the fourth week is which of the following is not a natural fiber obtained from animals okay so options are angora, mohair, silk, hemp. So these kind of terms you will find in your science textbooks and all these things. But you don't need to read the science textbook because a good test series will cover all the important things. Okay. Because in the past UPSC would have asked something. Based on that only these questions are framed. So which of the following is not a natural fiber? Angora, mohair, silk, hemp. Here the answer will be hemp. Okay. So if you see again. All of these are natural fibers only, but the question specifically is asking obtained from animals. So here if you see from plants, we get this uh, hemp, okay, cotton, flax, hemp and all, bamboo, all these are from plants and these are under natural only. And from animals, we get the other one, wool, silk, angora, which is from the goat, rabbit, then mohair again from the goat. So these are certain uh, features or certain things you have to study about uh, fiber okay fiber is composed of this non-starch polysaccharides including cellulose dextrins inulin lignin okay all these words i'm giving you because sometimes upsc will put these keywords and ask like which of the following uh, can be included in fiber which is part of fiber okay so there are uh, two wide uh, uh, fiber types soluble insoluble dissolves uh, soluble fiber in mud then again, certain features, okay, again, I'm selling the more uh, things in science uh, which you have to focus is the keywords or the examples, okay, so that is where questions are formed. UPSC doesn't ask you the technicality of that, they will ask you examples or uh, keywords, okay. So natural I have given here and in uh, the notes which the students will get when they are enrolled to test series, artificial or man-made polymer fibers also a detailed two-page notes I have prepared, okay. So that you will get it. In uh, this plum series, I am showing you only the, the answer section of this particular thing, okay. So here answer is uh, hemp because it is from plants. Question number two, which of the following are true? Strong nuclear force are majorly responsible for radioactivity and radioactive decays. Weak nuclear force is res uh, primarily responsible for stability of matter. So two statement type question, one, two or neither one or two, both one and two. Okay, so here I showed you the answer itself. So answer is uh, C because both of, are, both of them are interchanged. Okay, strong nuclear force is primarily responsible for stability of matter and weak nuclear force is majorly responsible for the uh, radioactivity and uh, other uh, decay related things okay so more uh, things are there nuclear force is a topic which UPSC used to ask a lot in the 90s and early 2000s then they uh, stopped asking but again I am expecting questions will come from the uh, forces okay meaning there is this electromagnetic force there is gravitational force then there's a strong nuclear and weak nuclear so all these are the areas from which a lot of questions used to come okay uh, ABCD type also and the statement type also so here just uh, pause and read whatever is because there's just one uh, what is the one section of it it's not like it's there in total and total if you want again as I told enroll to a very good test series they will cover everything for you okay so in electromagnetic force it is involved in this alpha gamma things also so alpha gamma and all uh, later you will learn alpha gamma beta and all so please see to that you are studying as i told from a proper source question number three which are the following are true about nipah virus it is a zoonotic virus currently there are no vaccines for both humans and animals so options are two only neither one or two both one and two or one only so after this uh, covid has come UPSC have increased the number of questions in this uh, medicines or uh, research on uh, vaccines, then uh, a comparison of different different types of vaccines, then there is gene therapy, uh, that kind of questions have increased in the last two years you would have noticed if you are following the previous year questions. So you have to know about Nipah virus also because it's a very uh, deadly virus. Okay, so here answer is C, that is both one and two, it is a zoonotic virus that means it comes from animals and there are no vaccines at present. Okay. So it is transmitted from animals to humans 
and uh, it is like if you see this rna rna is also a very important topic rna dna last two years again i think two to four questions came okay it first broke out in malaysia singapore in 1998 and 99 after that in india also if you see in kerala it was there okay it was not very like it did not go widespread but it was a very uh, uh, bad situation okay the one full district had to be shut down that time uh, a few years back and uh, nipa if it had spread okay it would have been causing a lot of death and it would have been very serious there's a movie also based on that movie name is i think virus you can go and search in youtube also the movie will be there dubbed in hindi also it is there i think okay so virus movie uh, it will give you an idea of how deadly this nipa uh, virus is okay and uh, through this uh, fruit bats okay fruit bats flying foxes they and all are the uh, like host okay reservoir of this virus and from there okay if you go and disturb them in the forest and all then that will spread to one person and from one person it keeps spreading very fast and uh, it is di- direct death okay there is no way you can treat it okay Question number four: Which among the following is the oldest man-made fiber to be used? Options are rayon, nylon, polyester, flax. So again, all these are taken from one a particular article only. I already asked one question on fibers. This is one more from that same article. So you have to tell which is the oldest man-made. That question was about natural. Now this is about man-made. So answer is A, rayon. So regenerated fibers such as this viscose rayon in 1892 and cellulose acetate in 1918 were the first man-made uh, uh, fibers. Okay, these uh, types of fibers are created by breaking down cellulose or wood pulp and then by extrusion regeneration. So again, all the details of what is rayon and uh, the chemistry behind it. Okay, what all it contains. That kind of things are mentioned here and the year in which were, a little bit of history. history so i am just giving you very basic information because as i told you don't need to be an expert in all these things because upsc don't want experts or specialist in any subject they want a generalist uh, who can understand every subject's basic things okay so about, about nylon about rayon a basic difference of what it is you have to know okay now last question ranikhet disease and uh, infectious bursal disease seen in news is related to okay meaning which animal it is like cows horses sheep or poultry So this again, as I told, we have taken a lot of questions on fibers and diseases this week. So every week, as I told, different different topics will be done, and by the end of the year, you will be getting a vast uh, uh, source of knowledge. So here, answer is poultry. So Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying is implementing a scheme, namely assistance to states for control of animal disease under the Livestock Health and Disease Control Mission, which they have. Okay, which covers the vaccination of economically important poultry diseases such as Ranikhet disease, infectious bursal disease, fowl pox, etc. So when you are studying a scheme, you have to read the inside details of it. Inside that only these things will be mentioned. Even if you read from PIB, PRS, from wherever you read the scheme, all these things will be mentioned there. Okay, including control and containment of emergent and exotic. diseases like avian influenza department has developed action plan for preparedness control and containment of avian influenza which is formulated in 2005 and revised later okay so under that scheme life uh, life uh, stock health scheme financial assistance is provided to states for upgradation of this uh, diagnostic laboratories in addition there are six regional disease diagnostic laboratory for prompt and effective diagnosis of different livestock and poultry diseases then a national institute of high security animal disease bhopal Okay, in a, if it's SSC PSC exam, you have to know this this kind of location also. Under Indian Council of Agriculture Research (ICAR), has been specifically designated as national referral laboratory for diagnosis of aviation, sorry, avian uh, influenza. Okay, which is also financially assisted by the Department of Animal Husbandry. So overall, head will be Department of Animal Husbandry only center, and they are giving funding. They are uh, allocating national institutes. So like that, they are taking care of the avian influenza and many other diseases related to poultry under this scheme. so please see to it that you are studying uh, all the things needed like daily newspaper join, joining one good test series previous quest- previous year questions and solving a high number of questions and observing everything which is happening around you because dedicated practice of all these things only will help you clear the science questions and current affair questions which comes okay we have more than 100 test which is there in the form of pdf and you can enroll whichever is suitable to your preparation okay because we guarantee you that whichever test series you buy when compared to that ours will have all the facts required okay and it's all lifetime validity pdfs so you can uh, buy it and learn it forever how long how long you are preparing or whichever exam you are preparing because most questions it appear not only in upsc because it's current affair uh, in uh, tamil nadu psc in gujarat psc in meghalaya one police service exam many places students have showed me questions which came directly from our pdfs okay so see to it that you are getting this and studying it in the right order so the next episode will come tomorrow till then thank you and have a nice day